Solar Smash is back on the channel, and oh man, do I have a good one for you guys today. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to Solar Smash. So you guys gave me about five or six amazing ideas. I put it on my post-it note. Let's just get started. So the first thing you guys told me to do was go to the custom planet, which is down here. Then you guys said to go to the force field and enable it, which actually looks really amazing. This force field is super strong. Then you guys told me to go to the planetary destroying laser alien man right here and just fire it. I, I'm not exactly sure what happens, but you guys told me it looks really cool. Three, two, one, go. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I get a better view and I'm going to go to spectator mode. Is he actually, is he going to get through the, the force field? I don't even think he made it through the force field. Oh, he did. Never mind. I stand corrected. He absolutely made it through the force field and now he's turning around to get the heck out of here before the planet explodes. I don't know what exactly is going to happen that you guys told me is so exciting, but okay. It exploded. Oh, all the asteroids are now trapped inside the force field. Oh, this is actually really, really awesome. So I basically made a planet out of floating asteroid bits from the original planet that I created. Wait, so now what happens if I go out of spectator mode and I actually just get rid of the force field? Are they going to stay in a circular pattern or are they going to disperse into the cosmos? Let's see. Oh, that is awesome. They stay in a circular pattern. Oh, wait, maybe they're going away. Wait, let's speed things up a little bit. Okay, eventually they kind of scatter and disperse into the cosmos. That was awesome, and that was the least exciting thing on this post-it note. Next thing you guys told me to do was go to Machine World. You guys already know this has a force field. It's just invisible. You guys said to go to the brand new dinosaur, or the, I think it's some sort of a dragon that breathes fire in space. I named him Newt. N-E-W-T. That's the name of my dragon. And then you guys said shoot the machine world and see if he can go through the force field. I don't, I don't know. Any day now, Newt. Any day now, Newt. Okay. And, uh, come on, Newt. He literally, literally wasn't even close. Not literally was not even close. He doesn't even look like he cares. He's just floating back to Mars or wherever it is that he lives. Doesn't even care. What if I shoot like I don't know, five newts. It's Newt Jr., Newt the third, Newt the fourth, Newt the fifth, Newt the sixth, and Newt the seventh. I don't know. Are there any sevenths that actually exist in real life? Okay, so they're starting to breathe some of that blue. F oh, it's getting red. Yes! Okay, they actually got through. Now I got a question. Now I got a question. Can I get Newt trapped inside of Machine World. So you guys just saw that the uh, force field came back to life. So what if I do this? I'm going to zoom all the way in. I am going to fire... You know what? I'm going to fire a laser just to get rid of the force field. Come on, laser. So it gets yellow, then it gets orange, then it gets red, and eventually the force field should explode. Okay, it's getting red, and I just blew it up. Okay, so now let's fire Newt really quickly. Newt, go. Newt, go. Newt, keep going straight. Beautiful. Oh, don't blow up. No, he blew up the stupid thing in the middle that makes the force field regenerate. Well, he, he did go right through Machine World, which was kind of cool. Just look at this beautiful planet. I say it all the time, but this is our home. 7.7 .7 billion people on this planet living together. Let's blow it up with an alien. Okay, so you guys told me for the next thing. I know if I aim for Russia or Washington, D.C., they fire back at the UFOs, but somebody told me if you try to shoot Florida, that you you, you just can't do it. I, I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's fake, but we're about to try it. Three, two, we're going to aim for Gray still plays his house right in Florida. I actually don't know where his house is, but I know he lives in Florida. Let's aim for Florida right there, and... Uh, okay, oh, wait, they actually... They actually do blow up Florida. Wait a second, but that, that, that missile came from Washington, D.C., right? Wait, let me try to shoot Florida one more time. And, yeah, it's coming from Washington, D.C. There is no way in God's green earth that they would be able to fire a missile from Washington, D.C. and hit a UFO over Florida. You know what? Maybe we're in the future and missiles have gotten faster, stronger, more accurate, and... I don't, it's just not possible. What if I try to shoot, like, my house in uh, Philadelphia? 
Uh, oh. So how far does DC defend the country? What if I shoot, like, I don't know, Los Angeles? Are they going to shoot it down from Los Angeles? No. 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 Oh. Okay, yeah, Los Angeles, out of luck. They only care about the East Coast, apparently. Oh, my gosh. I just, just I blew up 110 million people right now. Half of the United States is gone and even a part of Mexico. I like Mexico. I visited it once a couple years ago. We had a good time. Next on the docket. And by docket, I mean the yellow post-it note with my chicken scratches on here. You guys told me to go to the bottom of planet Earth, upload the missiles all the way up in strength and all the way up in numbers. And it looks like artwork. I, I don't know exactly what that means, but I'm going to take your word for it. So we're going to aim for the South Pole. This is where the anti-Santa Claus lives. I, I don't think that's actually a thing. Let's go to the missiles. Let's go to the gear. So we're going to make it all the way strength, which I think is a five. And then we're going to do, what is it? Uh, a hundred. I thought it was 99. It's a hundred. That's even better. Three, two, one, go. Okay. We're about to have a very big explosion with, okay. Yep. Okay. The guy told me it's going to lag a little bit and then... It should look like artwork. It, it kind of looks like a planet that I shot with 100 missiles at, at top strength. That's kind of what this looks like. Uh, excuse me, sir. Whoever suggested that in the comments, I don't know what kind of artwork you look at. I'm actually not a, a big art guy, but if I look at artwork, it probably wouldn't be a planet that got blown up by 100 missiles. But you know what? Art is subjective. So to some people, this is beautiful art. And to other people, it's um, a, a desolate planet with 7.7 .7 billion people that just got blown up. Okay, the last thing before the main thing, which you guys are going to love the main thing. You guys told me to go to the flat earth right here. Again, proof that flat earthers are not crazy because Solar Smash told me that the earth was flat. Then you guys told me to go to the dinosaur, which again, I named Newt. If you guys have a better name, let me know in the comments. And then fire him... Oh, wait, no, I was supposed to go in. Wait, maybe not. Does he blow up Flat Earth? You guys told me he'll... Oh, no, he does. Yeah, he absolutely does blow up Flat Earth. I think he just took out, like, the United States. Again, it's just the West Coast. I keep missing the East Coast. Uh, the Mexico and, and Texas and California have been blown up, like, eight times in this video. But that's not what you guys told me to do. You guys told me to go to target mode and then fire Newt, and then I could actually fly around as the, uh, a dragon, which is actually kind of amazing. Then you guys told me to go to the sun. I don't remember if you guys told me to fly into the sun or try to blow it up. I'm gonna try to blow it up with my fire. I, I, I just did it. I blew up the sun, and now planet Earth is in absolute darkness. Can I blow up the moon? Wait, where'd the moon go? Uh, where's the, oh, there's the moon, there's the moon. Okay, hey, let's try to blow up the moon. Uh, hey, get back here. Hey, hey, no, every time I hit it, it just gets farther and farther away. Excuse me, moon. Hey, moon. Newt would like to eat you like a piece of popcorn in the movie theater. If you would get back here, that would be fantastic. Excuse me. Okay, it just disappeared. It's halfway to Mars already. Well, that's fantastic. You know what? Let's just, let's do this. I, I love Newt so much, but we're going to throw him right into the middle of Flat Earth. Partially because Newt is not real, and mostly because Flat Earth is not real. If you guys believe in Flat Earth, uh, you, you're wrong. I don't know if that's a controversial topic or not, but, but you're just wrong. Okay, here we go. Can Newt go through Flat Earth? You know what? If Newt can breathe fire f through Flat Earth, I will become a Flat Earther today. Not really, but I think it's just going to be fun for the video. Here we go. Oh, he literally got through Flat Earth so easily. Um, whoops, I made a left turn. See? Doesn't exist. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. So we've got Flat Earth, Cube Earth. We've got Donut World. We've got Ghost World. We've got Snowman World. I made a, a heart-shaped world last time. Today, we're going to make a star planet. We're going to make planet Earth in the shape of a perfect star. Well, I have a feeling it's not going to be a perfect star because I'm the one doing it, but I'm going to try to make it as perfect as possible. And then we're going to reset the planet at the end and see if there's an Easter egg because you guys told me there's still a lot of Easter eggs from this new update that I haven't uncovered yet. If you know of any, let me know in the comments. So let's go to the laser beam and we're just going to start slicing and dicing and icing now that that definitely doesn't make sense uh ricing no there's got to be another ing that we're gonna go with slicing and dicing okay um 
I'm gonna do like a little montage of me slicing this thing into a star because it's probably gonna take me a very long time. I'll catch back up with you guys in a little bit. Okay, I'm about halfway done the uh, official frustrated gamer uh, star earth, or should I call it earth star or star glow? I don't know what to have. I don't know what the name is. Let me know in the comments. What's the name of this star planet? I, it's actually coming out better than I thought right now from this angle. It doesn't look very good, but trust me if I move you can see the United States right there. I actually didn't take out Mexico this time. Well, I took out the bottom of Mexico, but not all of Mexico. Texas is fine. Texas is fine right now, which is very nice. I think it's gonna be really funny to see what Solar Smash comes out with next. Like, if they come out with a heart-shaped planet or a star-shaped planet, I think I can take full credit for it. Ladies and gentlemen, the frustrated gamer Star World. Um, nobody survived, even though you can still see where Mexico is. Again, I blew up every single person left on planet Earth, so no one's left to see my star planet. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs. Go to that YouTube channel right now and subscribe and I will see all of you in the next video.